Hello and welcome back to Laura Fenton Gaming Plays Barscape 3. I'm your host Laura Fenton. In this Barscape 3 PC walkthrough video, we're still in Act 3 and we're going to end Day 14. This is the long rest by the way before the worm way. As always, like, comment, and subscribe my channel for more Barscape 3 videos like this. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so we'll be updated more. In the last video, we visit the Goddess of Magic, plus we finished finally the investigate the Suspicious Toys quest. Yeah, many Bane Knights died in the last video. Let's not waste any more time and start the long rest. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. Please, don't look at me. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Mistra has forsaken Gale entirely. A crushing blow. But he is strong enough to persevere, I think. Far from me to judge Gale for playing coy with Mistra. But I will not be cleaning up whatever mess she makes of him for it. Just what I need. I received a dispatch from the Grove. Life carries on there in our absence, just as nature intended. My chosen successor, Francesca, has proven to be a wise choice. Perhaps the wisest I ever made as Archdruid. One grand victory may not be enough to absolve a host of small failures. That is where true leadership lies. Not in winning a single vast battle, but in fighting a thousand smaller ones. Making ten thousand difficult decisions. Finding balance where none seems possible. Day after day, I was all too eager to surrender my responsibilities towards the Grove. <laughs> Perhaps I was never meant to be Archdruid, to be a leader. Still, though, I cannot help but wonder if there was more I could have done. Perhaps, Oak Father willing, I may yet have the chance someday. Forgive me. The Shadow Curse occupied me so entirely and for so long, I almost missed the purpose it gave me. Now I must find a new one. This crown seems too powerful and dangerous an object for mere mortals to possess. Too dangerous even for Mistra. But I would sooner trust it with a god than with Gale. Something on your mind? You know exactly what's on my mind. Why, only the truth, that you bear the blame for the Duke's untimely demise. Such a loyal servant of the city, so eager to hear of your exploits. Tell me, darling, how is she? What a relief. It would be a shame if she'd struck down the one and only blade. Alas, she misses the fallen Duke. Someone will need to step up in his absence. A man with the spirit of a dragon. His only son, perhaps. I do not trust Mistra to do right with the crown. But I think I trust Gale even less. 
He must give it to her when the time comes, or his lust for power might well consume him. Wow. So that was Mistra. Pretty spectacular stuff. But I think Gail was right not to agree to do her bidding, no questions asked. I respect the gods, but they don't always understand what they're asking of us. Maybe immortality makes it hard to know what it's like to be one of us piggies. Proud of Gale, though. It takes some man to hold his own in front of the Divine. What's on your mind? So, Gale's hedging his bets with Mistra? I can't say I blame him. Who'd want to hold a power like the Crown of Carsus in their hands just to hand it to someone else? I know what my decision would be, but we're all different, of course. Ah, ally mine. We are reunited once more. I was just regaling sweet Isabel with tales of our prowess. Very impressive. Thank you for helping Aelin. That wizard sounded absolutely dastardly. He did, and it came. Now, my friend, bask in your victory. I will do the same. My darling. We must inform our friend of our news. Indeed. I've scouted a Salunite enclave outside the city. They faced the Absolute's armies and come out battered and bruised. Aelin and I will go to them, provide what help we can. But fear not. When the time comes for you to face the foe of foes, Isabel and I will stand by your side. We wouldn't miss it. Not for anything. Go well, friend. We will see you soon, and with our great powers combined, this city will be saved. After what I did for the Night Song and Isobel, they're looking for more allies, more Salunite allies, it seems. That's a good thing. We talked to everybody on the current events, which is the Goddess of Magic. So, what I'm going to do is uh, pet our uh, mascot, I should say, Bars Gate 3 mascot in my eyes, which is the Owlbear Cub. You heard me right. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. After that, it'll be a long rest. We're going to need this rest because the next thing we're going to do is going to be tough. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin coat smells like goblins. Ooh, more. There is the cute Alberica. We always pet it. Yeah, it's like a good luck charm, and plus it's our uh, mascot once again. Well, actually, I should say the game's mascot. So we're going to go ahead and rest up. So let me go ahead and explain as I'm getting ready to, of course, uh, rest. However, let me just check that. Okay, nothing there. I just got to loot rest this place up. Anyways, coming up will be another uh, sequence with the Emperor. This time, a uh, romance option. If you want to go for it, that is uh, fine. Now, I'm loyal to Shadow Hearts, so I'm not going to go ahead and do it. If I was loyal to the other party members, same thing as well. I'm going to say no on that. Anyways, after the uh, sequence with the Emperor, I will return. They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves, without guile, without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup should you wish to experience it for yourself. The 
very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillman, a story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common I've learned to adapt my methods to your needs. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you, your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. That you are complex and full of contradictions. It was no easy task, but I had to persist. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how much I would enjoy your company. like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. I'm sorry. You're right. Now's not the time. Forget I said anything. Let's move on to more important things. The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the Crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hide mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. You should reconsider your attachment to your physical form. You have seen what an elithid can do. Imagine, some of that could be in your grasp. Not enough to warp your appearance beyond recognition, but just enough to enhance your potential. And believe me, it will radically increase our chances of success against the Elder Brain. Think on it. That is a good long rest, so uh, let me uh, check out my quest update since the uh, other two definitely left. So let's see here. Isabel's grateful we still have the light of uh, Slunai guiding us, so that's a good thing. Uh, the Night Song is now totally loyal to us. The two went off probably to get more Slunai allies. That's a nice bonus. We'll have to get, definitely get more allies. We have to look for Volo. He's somewhere probably in Baldur's Gate, most likely. Yeah, he escapes always. Still, I'll take that to him, of course, for uh, what happened in Neverwinter Nights 2. A certain expansion. And Okay, and now uh, we just got everything else done. So, our uh, next stop is we're going to do is gather our party, then go see Roland. Just to show everybody uh, the aftermath of the uh, Sorcerer's Sun series quest. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go off screen and switch party members. Now, the thing is, is I swapped everybody. It's... Uh, well, actually, I swapped just to stay around with uh, Will. He has a certain uh, spell for now. I should have got the higher level version of that. I'll probably have to do it when I get to uh, 12. It's a good uh, spell. Anyways, our uh, next stop, you uh, guessed it, is uh, good old Roland. You know, you see uh, in the last, uh, I should say, day, what happened with uh, Roland uh, is uh, we got him a nice tower. Because of that, he owns the Sorceress Sundries. Which is a very good thing. 
You heard me right. So that's why I'm doing it. So I'm just going to just double check, get all the auroras up there. Yeah, you heard me. You know, I just got to make sure I cast all three. You got to do it each day. I have to remember to uh, cast, speak with animals and read uh, thoughts. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need to stock up on more of those potions, too. In fact, I am still looking for a potion shop because there's supposed to be a, a couple there from Act 1 that has a potion shop. I did everything from them in uh, Act 1. Well, actually, the uh, dumb husband, I had to save him. Yeah, that one. I definitely uh, need some supplies, need to start stocking up on potions and uh, more. So you're asking, uh, Fenton, why are you returning to Sorcerer's Sundries? Well, I just want to see what happened day after. I'm going to go ahead and say this to everybody at this uh, time. When you do complete certain quests and it replaces NPCs, make sure you visit the uh, same location just in case they uh, do change shop inventories. Okay, I did uh, drink a Potions of the Colossus. I have to definitely remember to uh, shift some uh, inventory big time when we get to that uh, point. I can't give the uh, big bomb away. I kind of wish I do have a bag of holding. That would be very nice. Some of this stuff is uh, weighing me down all these potions. I'm going to have to start soon as uh, putting these potions away. And then, of course, uh, you know, start uh, picking the ones I definitely want permanently. I'm going to have to start getting a few haste potions, too. Well, I'm not going to do it now, though. I think I'm doing good without the uh, haste potions anyways. So, we're going to get to uh, the uh, magic shop once again. After that, the worm way. So, let's go uh, this way, shall we? Why, yes. I'd love to do an interview. Oh, sorry. Thought you were one of the mouse journalists. Yeah, you don't want to read the bowler's mouth uh, journalism these days. Yeah, they've been telling lies, except for that cat story. Uh, that was fun. Okay, we're almost there. I still love the place ever since Bowler's Gate 1. History repeats itself, of course. You got a chance to fight up there, unless, of course, you have two certain party members in Bars Gate 1. Anyways, there's a shop at Roland has a, uh, I should say, a clone or something like that. Let me introduce myself. I am Roland, the new ruler of Ramazith's Tower. All deals and sales made under previous ownership will be honored. I hope you enjoy this curated selection of goods for all your magical needs. Of course, you're a valued customer. Take your time. A hero at heart. All right, the shop's there. Looks like I cannot steal from the, uh, I should say, mirror image or say astral projection rolling. And he's more happier. This is like a happy shop. No uh, stupid uh, bounty sh stuff, anything like that. I am really happy that he is here. And if I do need any more of those uh, Global Invulnerability uh, Scrolls, I'll definitely get them in the future. Thank you for visiting Sorcerer's Sundries. Have you seen this place? It's incredible! And this is our house now. I think it goes without saying that you have a room here. Anytime. Heard you put that prick, Leroican, in the ground. Good. Only sad I couldn't help. Thank you. For having Roland's back. You just can't stop saving us, can you? I want to check on everybody else. Roland's two adventuring uh, partners. Yep, they are safe. They're living in the tower. That's great. So we're going to have to definitely see Roland now. And I want to definitely check in on him. I mean, uh, he did a lot. First, he was like snobby, selfish, and stuff like that in Act 1 and Act 2. He had a whole heart of gold and take care of the kids while uh, looking for, uh, of course, the two adventuring friends. He went out alone to, of course, to uh, go there uh, to find them, try to find them, but we uh, saved them after that. Uh, we talked to them in, in the stay in the last light inn. Reunited the two adventuring uh, 
people with Roland, and ever since then, Roland likes us. He even sided with us uh, against the uh, mad wizard of this uh, tower. We defeated that wizard. Now he owns it, Roland, which is uh, great. I knew Laroa can amass knowledge like a dragon with its horde, but never could I have imagined such wealth. And the tower itself has a cannon. The sheer power is mind-boggling. Indeed, I must still figure out its intricacies, but uh, I am close. Study and catalogue it. Leroa can barely knew his alphabet. Then share it with the realms. After all, it does little good collecting dust in an old tower. Hmm. That should work. So we're uh, done with Roland. Yeah, I had to tell the history of Roland in the, this game in my uh, playthrough. For those who are new to the channel, by the way, welcome to the channel. With my uh, perfect party, I will definitely say for the worm way. Yeah, you heard me right. The uh, perfect party. Well, actually, uh, wait a sec. I need uh, everybody in this. I could have uh, taken out Will for another uh, melee, but uh, I'll explain more on that when we get to a certain encounter in the future. I should say very near future. Anyhow, uh, at this point, if you feel uh, good, I should say at least level 11 with certain spells or equipment, great idea to t just do the worm way. And let me see here, lightning resistance, I'm gonna probably gonna need a few of those. And uh, anything else? Yeah, I'm gonna have to look for an alchemy shop once again, I'm gonna need that big time. So I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, Will that for uh, now. And let's see here, I already got one potion. At this point in the game, alchemy is your best friend, just like in the uh, Witcher 1 through uh, 3 games. Yeah, you heard me right, Witcher 1 through 3. So I saw I teleport to the Worms Rock Fortress, that is where the uh, prison's at. That is also where the Wormway is at. Uh, make sure you have uh, Lightning Resistance, uh, Scribe the Scroll of Invulnerability, in other words, Gale must be in your party. Any uh, anti-undead spells or anything like that too. And lightning uh, resistant potions before actually going into the uh, worm way. Uh, that, yeah, there'll be some uh, things you have to do before hitting that boss. Anyways, uh, we have uh, finally arrived here. So let me make sure this is right. Yep, this is the way. So I'll show everybody on how to open it next time. Still, I will say this was a good uh, rest. I have my uh, party ready to go for the next uh, video. So here's a recap, everyone. First thing I decided to do was end the day. Um, after that, I talked to people in the uh, camp. Isabel and the Night Song left the camp to look for more allies. Isabel's more loyal to our cause, so is the Night Song. Rested up. The uh, Emperor tried to seduce me. I said, nope. My heart's with Shadow Heart. Yeah, it sounds uh, funny like that, but still. My heart's with Shadow Heart. Also with any other party members if I'm not romancing her as uh, well. Then I visit Roland. He's doing great. And that's another ally right there. He's going to help us big time. After that, we travel to the Wormway entrance. In the next Baldur's Gate 3 walkthrough video, we're going to go ahead and explore the Wormway trials and complete all four of them. This is it for my Baldur's Gate 3 PC walkthrough, Act 3, Day 14, in video, the long rest before the Wormway. This is Lord Fent signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. Do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern Dungeons & Dragons walkthroughs, builds, guides, and more just like this. If you like what you see, then uh, go ahead and pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and relax in this nice chair.